welcome back to my channel honey oh, i haven't seen you guys in so long um i'm really sorry but your girl's here again okay? she's here she's fine she's alive your girl's here i just had to just quickly dive out dive back in because honestly life's been real um i don't want to start going in about what's been happening where i've been and stuff because it's actually been real like life actually hit me i fell down came back up fell back down came back up but i'm still on the rise so i'm still alive um yeah i was supposed to do vlogmas this year hi guys i'm so tired but i'm getting some food um some breakfast and we're gonna start vlogmas Hey. But I decided to do Vlogmas this year again. I tried last year. It was a little bit of a fail, but I tried. So if you haven't seen those videos, do check them out. I'll link a little bit of them in the description box as well as you can just head over to my channel and check that out. Anyway, um, so this year I felt like doing Vlogmas a little different. So obviously by a little different I mean vlog almost every day I don't know how that's gonna work out because I literally have to work every day um, hopefully I can get like a little vacay in there um, I don't know how Christmas is gonna be this year because um, for the first time I have to kind of be here so we'll see how that goes anyway let me get this food and I'll chat to you guys in a bit here, I think I can still do it I don't know you let me know Maybe I'll just say this is Vlogmas Day 1 <laughs> and it's a story time. Who knows? I'm actually, I just might just do that. But anyway, as always, if you're new, do not forget to hit the subscribe button down below, turn on the notification bell so you're notified when your girl posts new videos or whenever she does. As well as give this video a big old thumbs up if you did enjoy. Now today's video is a story time, so let's get right to it. Well, we have a story time. I'm going to tell you real two, two quick story times about my encounters with crazy customers, okay? So the first one, I'm going to call her Sam. So Sam came to the salon. Um, she's, okay, basically let's first describe Sam. So Sam is um, black. She's South African, I would like to believe. Um, she's in her mid... 30s early 40s um she has she's not married she has a man's her man's is european you know <laughs> european um who looks like he's in his early 50s um actually early 60s 60s maybe okay anyway um so she came to the salon before and for the first time i would like to say august september ish she came through homegirl bought in her wig unit to get it washed, treated, deep conditioned, um, blown out and, you know, just revived. And then she did her natural hair. When she left, she did not have that wig on. Okay. So let's call her, we're calling her as in the customer, Sam. Then we're calling her man's, Sam's man's. Yeah, Sam's man's. Okay. So Sam's does her hair. It's all good in the hood does her wig unit, does her natural hair. She calls her mans, Sam's mans pulls through, ka -ching, ching right? Second time she comes through, she doesn't have a wig. Uh, when she comes through, uh, she does her whole shebang. We actually had a great conversation that day, um, talking about like, do I do massage stuff, blah, 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 we should consider it, whatever. Uh, once again, Sam's man comes through, ching ching pays. Third time she comes through, I wasn't there. Um, she does some type of braids. Once again, my employees tell me, Sam's man comes through, ching ching. So basically now we know the routine. She comes through, she picks whatever she wants. The man's, you know, Sam's man's come through, ching ching. Okay, cool. The fourth time is the interesting time when she came through. So the fourth time she comes through, she basically complains and she says that her wig, this is not what time frame, two, three months later, two and a half months actually, because if I think about it, if she came around August slash first week of September and then she returned in November, 
that's two months that's two plus months so anyway she came through and she said she's never worn the wig uh she wore it like last night and it's been three weeks since she's been here and her wig is just not okay first of all we correct her on her time frame second of all we deal with complaints within the same week after we've dealt like we've done it so if you've come to the salon on wednesday come on thursday with your complaint on the day complain come friday with your complaint do not wait two three weeks then complain because whatever style you had has worn out you feel me like don't don't do that so anyway um that's our policy seven days like within the same week um depending also obviously on your style so she says the wig um she wears the wig and it's just um not washed it's dirty it's just gunky whatever um and she wants us to fix it free of charge now I'm looking at her and I'm thinking she's really trying it she's absolutely trying it two and a half months later you think we're gonna believe that you've never worn this wig okay cool let's let's roll with your theory I'm like okay cool what would you like us to do ma'am she's like I'd like you to wash it we're like okay cool no problem I tell one of the employees to proceed and then I tell the manager of the store, okay, this is what's gonna happen. You're gonna, they're gonna do her wig like this um, and she's gonna pay the amount. Uh, my, manager tells, my manager tells her and then she says she's not gonna pay Jack. Okay, cool. Why aren't you gonna pay Jack? She, she says she's not gonna pay for Jack because we need to fix what we started. We need to fix what we created. Honey, you're two, three months later coming now to tell us to fix something that you could have won for 60,000 years and now you're trying to gain that again. Uh-uh, honey. Does this lady not snatch the wet deep condition wig? Does she not snatch the wig and want to do a 220 down the salon, out the shopping center? Does she not want to do that, guys? I thought I saw a joke. So homegirl snatches the wig. Now she's doing a one-two sip. And I'm like, wait, is this a joke? Is she really going to run out with a half-done wig? By the way, bear in mind, she has nothing on her head right now. She just has, like, one of the socks on. So my employee stops her. And this is all a joke because I'm like, Mama, you're so old. For what you're doing, you're so old. And I'm like, so this is how stealing looks like. Like, because this is now stealing. This is now stealing. You go into a place, they tell you they're going to do this, and then now you want to snatch something and bounce when it's halfway done. What? Okay, cool. So she's now snatching the wig. She's slapping the peeps. Like, guys, I'm telling the story in such a dry-ass way, but, like, it's real. She was really snatching the wig. So, I try to stop her as well, but like in a jokey, laughy way, like, are you seriously doing this? So, the manager, uh, my manager at the salon, um, I tell him, please call the security. I press the panic button. Security tank comes through. Bear in mind, she is shouting. She is screaming. It is closing time. And she's like, we must fix her wig. And she is not going to pay. I'm thinking to myself, this lady is really trying it. She's actually, actually trying it by wanting to receive a free service. But cool, cool. This whole time I wasn't angry. She actually caught me on a good day because I was actually not irritated. I was just shocked. I was like, this is funny. This like, you really tried it. So anyway... Um, come through the security. The security is like, what's good? Um, my barber closes the door and she's now going hysterical and she takes the wig. She throws it back at the employee and says she must finish it. And the security is just like, what's up? 
so she tells she talks first she tells the security these people um washed and treats my wig they deep conditioned it and they did all of this stuff and for the first time i wore it yesterday and it's dirty the security is like okay what's the problem then and then i say the problem is she doesn't want to pay the security goes okay nana why don't you want to pay because the first time you came here you got a treatment you paid right they fixed your hair you paid she's like yes and then she the security goes okay and you were happy she's like yes i was happy when i left okay did you see your hair before you left she's like yes i saw my hair and they put it into the bag for me okay cool why don't you want to pay now when they're fixing it she's like because when they fixed it the last time it just didn't do what it's supposed to be done and the things are not done and the I have never in my life seen our old homegirl wanna snatch and run with the wig. But as always, you guys know how the story goes. <laughs> Sam's mans came, came through, swipe, swipe, and she bounced. My thing is, so Sam didn't have money. Sam didn't have money because her man came two hours later. Uh, Sam didn't have money. She told us she didn't have money and that's why she came because she had to go to her What's her daughter's birthday dinner and she needed her wig If you needed your wig so much You said to us you had many more other wigs. Why is this wig so important? Like actually, let's stop the story because I was so confused But the point is homegirl was snatching the wigs. She was out to go Um, There's actually a lot of customers that try things they definitely try it so I don't know I just feel like I've learned my lesson customers are always trying it and I've I've just come to terms with that that they will always be triflers triflers in them streets anyway so I feel like telling my second story but then I don't want this video to be long but the second story is actually the most cringing one because a whole rock of security came her man's was also there and it was quite sad actually um i actually feel sorry for this customer because i feel like she actually does not have a salon she doesn't have a makeup artist she actually doesn't have anyone that wants to do it because she complains about everything she's the type of customer that you do one line and she's like undo it i don't want it and you do a little piece and she's like undo it i don't want it and then she says he's the best in the salon here yeah, i want the best and the best and the best and then she just doesn't have money to back it up but anyway if you guys did enjoy the first story time i told you let me know in the comment section and i'll come back to tell you the second story time i just felt like i need to break this video up but yeah there's been a lot of crazy customers at the salon and um i feel like i need to just keep doing story times because it's actually it's shocking it's actually shocking but um I hope to see you guys soon in my next video and I won't be a stranger anymore. Bye!